Hello everyone, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in today. I appreciate you. Today I would like to take some time and elaborate on my approach, logic, and thought process in which I take to pack black. So for this video, we will be going over how I go about packing black and I will be demonstrating here with this lightning bolt on this massive tattoo on this Yolong practice skin. Now, should you have any questions about anything that you may hear or see throughout this video, I'm going to highly encourage you, drop a comment below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight on into this. Jumping right on in, I am going to be using the wormhole rotary tattoo machine as you see right here. This is going to be a wireless power supply from Drago Art. This is a WX2, the updated version, and we're going to be using a Rain 17 round mag. This is going to be a double zero configuration. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using this Rain 17 round mag right here. You can use a flat should you choose to do so to each their own yet again. Now, the idea behind packing black for me, especially in areas such as this, this is kind of a larger area right here, is I want to be slow, consistent, and steady with the motions that I'm making, ensuring that I'm packing the black. So my idea is the less that I have to go back over that space there to put more black in on the skin, the less damage that I am doing to that area. So if I go slow the first time and kind of do it as I should, I don't have to go back to it. So slow is fast, fast is slow, so to speak. And then where I begin is I typically begin with placing down the outline. Now I am going to be running at eight volts for this demonstration. You can pack black wherever you see fit on your end. I'm not gonna tell you where you should pack black. Every machine is different, so I'm not really gonna touch base on that. You really have to fill it out for yourself and find out where you are most comfortable. But for this, I am using eight volts as you see. And I'm beginning with the outline there. Just kind of foundating the area right here. And I'm using just the very tips of my needle as I'm applying very little pressure. Little to no actually pressure at all. And what I'm doing is I'm essentially foundating the areas here, the edge that I'm not going to go outside of. And once I've done that, once I've established the edge in which I'm not going to cross outside of, I can kind of start filling in the areas. And as you see, I'm moving slow and consistent, nice, small, circular motions. As you see, I'm not going to have to go back over these areas as they are nice and saturated. I'm going slow, making sure that my needles get to the area that they need. And that's essentially the process in a nutshell. Now it is very, very easy to overwork and I will talk about overworking the skin on another video. But for this, I'm gonna try and keep it as simple as I can just to the packing of the black here. So as you see, I'm just lining this out right here. And you're gonna notice that this line right here is not perfect at all. As you see, there's a space in between to me, that's perfectly fine. That's neither here or there. As I am going to go back over and do my small circular motions, which will then cover that right on up. You can turn your mag over to the side as well. This one's a round mag and I'm turning it over to the side so that way I can get this edge right here. So allow me to bring you in up close here so that way we can really get a good look at what I'm doing and my needle point. And 
for me, I kind of just like to create my barriers and I'm just using very little pressure here, creating the barriers. And when I say barriers, I mean the lines that I'm not gonna go outside of. So I'm kind of using my imagination with my terminology there. So what I'm doing is I'm essentially laying down the outline that I'm not gonna go past. And then from there is when I begin filling in. So this outliner here is just a small, super light outline that gets filled in. Upon, or upon working on it. Let me make sure we're still in focus here. And then now that I have that outline, that barrier that I created, I can continue packing in black. And I'm still running at 8 volts, still using the very tips of my needles. I would say I'm using medium to slower circles. Slow would be that slow. That's a little too slow for my vault here, so I'm going to pick it up a little bit to reach the own. Even if I were to drop it to, let's say, 6.5 volts, I can demonstrate that as well. What's really gonna change is the speed of my hand. And now I'm gonna be moving like right around here. So I'm gonna continue that process here and we are still at 6.5 so for me too even 6.5 feels a bit natural I do feel a bit like I do feel like I have to slow it down a little bit more which I obviously do but for my hand speed I personally wouldn't mind maybe about 7.5 volts for my packing, 8 volts as I had it originally. I think that's perfect for my application or my specific uh, application and approach and expertise. And that is literally how I go about packing in black. And as you see, I'm going all in the same direction as well. I'm all, I'm going all this way. Feel free to go in any direction you choose to do so. You could cross hatch this way, you can go up. But for me, I like to try and keep it as consistent as I possibly can. And I am essentially going to repeat this process until I am happy with the results. And then you can cross hatch as well. Since it's already saturated black, I wouldn't mind. Just to saturate everything and make it much more smoother. So you get the idea. If this was human skin, we would have already been past this part. However, this is a tougher skin to work with, so it's really pushing me to really pack this black and saturate, which is actually a good thing for this specific exercise.
I literally just take my time upon working the blacks into any design really it's all about just getting comfortable and maneuvering until you're comfortable like this part right here me personally I don't mind that round part but I think that having a point would look better so therefore I'm going to make a point and I'm going to maneuver and position myself as needed and just like that we have a more pointed edge right there and these are ways that I use the mag and it's not necessary I guess it, it is a part of packing as well because I'm inputting the black see nice fluid consistent motions you can see the needle streaks doing the work and filling everything in so if you're moving nice and consistent that's what's going to reflect I can show you what going too fast looks like and I'll actually do that here right now so as you see nice and smooth and consistent we can always double back and again like I stated cross hatch on up this way do what I gotta do to put that black in there and then this was on human skin I would have kept moving we have nice clean saturation I would not have needed to come back to that so let me actually show you what moving too fast looks like so allow me to make sure I'm in focus so moving too fast when packing black looks a little something like this and this is actually very dangerous you can like stab the skin you can prick under the skin you can go too deep you can overwork the skin very very fast which is why you really want to keep your eyes on the tips of your needle so you can see the tips of my needles here right so Going too fast would look like this. So you can see the needle tips right there aren't given any time to put in any ink at all. So the results that we get will vary and it looks more like shading. So this is what happens when we're getting rushed, quick, inconsistent motions upon trying to pack black. And this right here, you've already wasted a pass over the skin. So now you're limited to even less passes than what you would have had originally, but not even tattooing it. So this is what we're left with, with too fast of a motion. And this is always going to be that way. This is going to be hard to cover up. As you can see, some areas are darker over others. So you don't want to be that fast. You don't want to. Don't do that. That's not the way that you want to pack black. Um, the skin needs to accept the ink. You need to find your spot, find your groove, hit that dermis, and then start inputting the ink like so. So that right there, it even looks blurry. That looks like a blurry type of effect. That's definitely not what we want, especially when it comes to packing of black. We want nice, clean, consistent saturation all the way through the parts of the tattoo that need to be black. So that is what fast looks like. What slow looks like is pretty apparent and maybe even the client may have some sort of reaction in terms of displaying discomfort and or being in pain. So, so this right here feels way too slow. This is what too slow looks like. And I'm not pushing in hard, I'm trying to remain as consistent as I possibly can while going this slow. And I can even feel the needle somewhat snagging up on the skin just based how slow we're going. 
are just because of how slow we're going and even going that slow don't get me wrong you do get a bit more saturation yes however we get more trauma and we get still a blurry type of effect so yes there is more saturation but there's still a lot more trauma so if this was really done on human skin i wouldn't be able to go back over this part without causing some sort of adverse reaction or without doing something harsh to the skin. So I would have to have le leave that part alone and essentially move on to another part that is more uh, ready to be worked on. So that is what too slow looks like. And I'm not sure if we can see damage on the skin. However, I do see more needle marks right here in this area where I went slow over anywhere else on the skin, even where I went fast. So that's the idea. Too slow is bad, too fast is bad. You want to have that medium to achieve nice, consistent, clean results. You got to have that medium for the consistent results. For me, it just makes me feel better to put a barrier, which is essentially this outline around the parts I'm going to be blacking or filling in black. just because it allows me to it's a constant reminder where not to go past so i always start with the outline and then i begin to pack in the black I would highly recommend to practice this on fake skin if you're not acquainted with packing of black as we can cause damage to the skin really easily and that's not good at all. That's not what we want. So it's really easy to cause damage which is why I would recommend we get more acquainted with how mags work, how we can flip them and what type of results in general that we get from mags. But as you see nice clean steady consistent results will yield the best for healing and for your work find a comfortable speed with your hand speed and voltage and why i say you find it is because you're the one that's going to be going as deep as you go with the needle i'm not going to be there with you telling you how deep to go and even then if I was you would still have to go as deep as you go with the needle so that's why I tell you practice on fake skin get acquainted get comfortable with the gear in general And one thing that I'm noticing too is when we do tighter circles, we get more of a nice consistent fill. So when I go over with the first time, my circles may not always be the smallest, meaning the motions I'm making aren't always the smallest. But when I go back over with the cross hatch, this way, I'll make sure that I get those smaller turns in there like this, the smaller circles in there palm packing. So that way I get that nice, clean, consistent finish as you see like that very nice very clean this part compared to this part you can see two different two different blacks there still both dark and saturated however with that last cross hatching going in the smaller circles really seals in the deal now you personally you could approach it however you want you can do small strokes all the way through that's going to be subjective to each their own do what feels natural to you so allow me to do a little bit more packing of black i'll bring you up to another angle we can kind of close out the video that way as you see nothing changes i'm just putting the outline there and then we could begin packing of the black. Same thing over here. Mm -hmm. 
And in terms of like packing in one direction, you can do so. You can pack however you'd like. You can pack in any direction you choose to do so. I think ultimately, if we're getting good saturation, we're still gonna get to where we're going. I would recommend in the beginning, if you're not really familiar with packing of black, go one way until you're comfortable in getting consistent clean results. So that way when you, stu when you do start going in different directions, it's not noticeable within your final healed work. So nice, clean, consistent, small circular motions. Always have an adequate amount of ink. Steady depth, consistent circular motions, and know where you want to pack in, know where the black's supposed to go. So as you see, wipe away, we have a very nice saturated black off the rip. Now when I go ahead and saturate whichever way I crosshatch, we're going to seal that in and completely lock it all in there. Just like that, and you can do some final cross hatching this way. So you get the idea there, so nice, clean, consistent motions all the way through. And then we get nice, consistent, clean, saturated results. So that is my approach right there. And I would just repeat that as needed until the entire section of the tattoo that I needed to pack black is done and completed. I'm even going in different motions right here and I think ultimately if you're getting nice clean saturation it'll look consistent because I was already going up and down on the last motions anyway so I should still reach consistency see a nice clean saturation all the way through every time we input black and again this is the process that we are going to repeat over and over and over until the canvas is done or until the design at hand area at hand whatever it is that needs black at hand is completed now that is how I do it that's pretty much the way that I go about packing of black. As you can see, I have nice, clean consistency here. Allow me to zoom in and show you all up close. 
as you see we don't have any damage at all on the skin not even in the areas where i try to demonstrate going too fast or anything like that it's smooth consistent this is completely wiped away as you see right there really nice clean consistent results and that is how i go about achieving them now if I didn't touch base on anything specific that you may have wanted to know at any point throughout this video, please, I'm going to highly encourage you to drop a comment down below. I'm going to do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I will be bringing more videos like this. I also have social medias all under the same name. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I also have a Patreon all under Daniel Yuck. I would truly appreciate the support on there. Yet again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I will be bringing more videos like this for you all. Thank you for tuning in yet again. You have a great day.